Namaskar, Aditya here. What's up everyone? So today I'm super excited because I just got another property, my seventh property. I'm right there. I'm going to do a walkthrough to share what I'm going to do with this property. Walk in with me. So first of all, you can see a nice small patio in the front for coffee or whatever. I'm not going to do anything with it. Just uh, keep it as is. Probably I'll clean up this spider. You can see all the spider all over. Probably no one used it for a while. So coming in. Immediately, always the first impression is the best impression. You can see right away I see a fridge. So obviously I'm going to move this from here. And you can see this part here. That's an ugly color, you know, ugly flooring. I'm going to change that into a nice mirror and change this flooring and walk in. So it's a good size kitchen, but you can see there is a big wall here. So obviously I love to make it an open concept because behind the wall is the living room. Just if you watched my, my home tour, the one I'm living right now, if you haven't, I'll have the link somewhere that I did the same thing. I'm going to put a LVL beam and then open this up. If there is any load, um, bearing wall like load bearing beam running through if there is no load bearing beam then that's awesome and also another thing i was thinking what i'm going to do is uh, put a nice island here and change this whole kitchen you can see like looks ugly stinky dated i'm going to have a nice dark granite countertop and a nice backsplashes and a modern cabinets most likely i was thinking maybe i'll change the appliances to a stainless steel if possible we'll walk in so this house actually has baseboard heating if you don't know what's baseboard heating let me know in the comments below but it's electrical and good thing is because it's electrical if you have a rental property that is electrical this is a heat for you that's a solution that's a heat pump which will does heating and cooling with the electricity but the bills will be way lower and by the way why are you watching if you really like my content if you don't hit that thumbs up button that means you don't really like me so do me that and you can see i'm not gonna most likely i will not touch this floor until unless if we have to but once this wall is gone man it's gonna look beautiful Oh, this fridge I was thinking to push it to that corner so as soon as you enter you enter into a nice uh, what do you call countertop with a nice hanging lights and a modern kitchen so that's pretty much it I'm gonna do in the main floor and we'll walk into the actually bedroom hold on let's walk through the bedroom first so a couple of little things here stairway I don't know if you can see some strips are missing strips are missing so I'm gonna do those strips and by the way this project is also a bird project I'm gonna do the renovations all the things that I'm just mentioning and then I'm pretty sure the property value after repair value will be fair enough for me to pull my equity out so again on this floor I do have the heat pump I'm gonna just change clear the filter there is a lot of dust in it I like the flooring so pretty much I'm gonna keep the flooring maybe I paint I will paint this railing and come here washroom so definitely I'm gonna do the flooring vanity I'm thinking of keeping it because it's nice granite maybe I just paint the uh, doors I'll take this one off so it looks a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna change the toilet and put energy efficient toilet where you have those two buttons. One is like for toilet and one is for loo. Um, again here, I like this mirror. This is kind of modern too. Probably I'll change that light fixture. And pretty much the corners, this is another thing. All I would do is like take those current baseboards. Those are like very thin, not modern. So when I do the flooring, once I do the flooring, I'll put a new baseboard and then I'll keep the tub. Actually, I like the tub. It's nice and beautiful. It's in a good condition. So probably I'll just keep it as this. I would not touch that part. 
So probably this washroom I can do it in like 500 bucks. And coming over, let's start with the master bedroom. So same thing, the bedroom flooring is nice and good. Uh, of course, the whole house need a painting or I don't like the painting at all. And they have all this stinkiness. I don't know if you can see, look at that. Look at that, all over stinkiness. So it, it looks ugly. Looks bright. So I'm gonna just clean up, painting, paint the doors, change the light picture. Look at that light picture. Probably I'm gonna put a nice little bit modern one. And same thing with the best bedrooms. Probably I would not do anything except. You can see there is no light right now. There is a switch, like kind of a board. I'm guessing there is a run, the electrical lines running already. So probably I just have to put a light picture, that's all. So now you can see the brightness. Probably I'll clean up those, or maybe if it doesn't cost too much, I'll just change them. Too much dirty. Need a clean up, deep clean up. Deep clean up is the first thing for this property. And the missing trims, you can see the trims are missing. I'll keep the flooring again. Same thing with this bedroom too. Same thing, just a clean up, painting, keep the flooring. Maybe I'll keep the bedroom covers because that's huge and it cost me. And they're already in a working condition. So why do I want to change them when they are working? I'll just clean up that oil or whatever, I don't know what they put on it. So that's pretty much it in this house. Oh, hold on, hold on. We have the basement. So the basement entrance is from the kitchen, between the kitchen and the living. So first of all, the basement need a deep cleaning. It really needed deep cleaning. And probably I was thinking to change the whole flooring. You can see the flooring already started to come off. Um, and then there is another washroom in the basement, but I'm gonna take, of course, as I said, this stuff will be gone. And the toilet is kind of dated. I was thinking, kind of still debating whether to change it or not, but most likely I might change it to a modern one like a stand-up shower. So pretty much this is a kind of a second living and a washroom in the basement. So I, I was thinking I want to keep, I know I don't like those side trims, the, the drywall, but I was thinking I'll just paint that because I don't want to touch the drywall there. But for sure, I'm going to take this one off. You see all this drop ceiling looks ugly so whole thing will be gone and nice spot lights probably i might take the flooring out and paint everything white white or gray color that matches with the upper floor and just clean it up that's it i don't want to spend too much money in this basement because it's just a living and the washroom probably i might spend some money on the washroom to make it nice and modern so that's pretty much it guys this is the house i bought let me know in the comments below what you like about this house and what you don't like about this house and let me know what else you want to know about this property and that's pretty much it don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because if you don't do that i'm not gonna make after renovations video what's up yes thank you so much guys